Whether it's inside or outside the Beltway, there's no better place to live if your palate likes to explore the world. So we're headed into the district where Chile is the main course, and you don't need your passport for this next stop because Italy is just right next door. And you'll never guess who's coming to dinner, all coming up next on Metro Cuisine. Welcome to Metro Cuisine. You know, ever since I moved to this area, I was struck by all the different historic sites that were right here at my fingertips. And it didn't take me long to find out that I could travel all around the world through my taste buds. So I'm going to take you to another historic spot that has a street named after it. Yeah, a street. And the food? Well, the food speaks for itself. Well, my first stop has landed me right here in the heart of the U Street Corridor in Northwest DC. It was once known as the Black Broadway, and on any given night, you could catch such musical greats as Cab Calloway, Ella Fitzgerald, and Louis Armstrong playing it up into the wee hours of the night. And if you stop and listen really closely, you can't miss the presence of U Street's very own Duke Ellington hanging around every corner. This historic part of the city's black community was not only home to great entertainers, but black owned businesses and grand movie theaters made U Street the place to be seen. And at its core, the elegance of U Street epitomized Duke Ellington himself. And the old timers say that U Street was so grand, just to come down here, you had to wear a tie. With a history that will last a lifetime and has withstood the test of times, the heartbeat of U Street is beating stronger than ever. And just down the street is one of DC's famous food landmarks you just can't miss. Well, I'm here. I'm at the one and only Ben's Chili Bowl, where they've been serving up chili since 1958. Well, I hope your taste buds are ready, so come on in. It's not only their chili that keeps bringing locals and folks from around the world here, but the minute you walk into Ben's, you can feel that down-home comfort the owners opened their doors with almost 50 years ago. When they opened up, it was fabulous out here on the street, and it was an instant hit. So it was already booming from the day they opened. And I mean, they say, as busy as you see it now, they say it was busier and, and back it, then. And, and imagine, it's busy. And imagine then segregation. Yeah. So this was the hub for African Americans yeah. in the city. Right. I mean, a place where you had to get dressed up to come down to U Street. White collar, blue collar, side by side. So we never imagined that it would have lasted so long and still been this busy. But it was an instant hit and uh, very busy even back then at opening. Now, don't get intimidated by those lines. The staff here at Ben's is all about business. As this family tradition continues to thrive, serving up more than 12 gallons of chili a day, and the grill, well, the grill doesn't get a break. How many dogs do you get out of here a week? Thousands. Thousands. Thousands of dogs, thousands of smokes, thousands of birds. And pounds of chili. What we do about a gallon, but gallons and gallons of chili. We're back there, you know, we we'll probably make a dozen pots of chili today. Those big, big yeah. five gallon pots. It was his father who almost 50 years ago turned this breakfast sausage into now what is the diner's famous chili half smoke. Can we talk about the special season that's going into that Ben's chili? Well, it's a homemade recipe. Uh, only the family knows the secret. And Dad's been making that, you know, from, from the onset. Dad's from Trinidad. So he always likes spicy food down in Trinidad. So he says when he came to America, the food was very bland to him. And so that's the chili came up. It's not really a Trinidadian chili, but he came up with this recipe some kind of way to go on this. We also have a signature item. It's the half smoke. You won't find a half smoke in any other city by that name. 
because it was originally a breakfast sausage. And Dad was the first one to put it on a bun and serve it, you know, with the chili as a chili half smoke. So when you go to Washington, the stands have a chili half smoke. They're not the same as our product, but in Washington you find the, the name half smoke. And it was actually voted uh, by, by, I think it was Washingtonian Magazine or somebody who voted it as the signature dish of Washington. Yes, most right definitely. Right behind, uh, you know, the cherry pie and, and, and the Senate uh, bean soup. Don't go away because you're bound to see the stars when you take a bite at Ben. Coming up next on Metro Cuisine.